so today we had our first introductory day of classes. Uh, we started with anatomy, which was like real heavy, real fast. But... Let's go Yankees! Let's go Yankees! Let me say hi! Medina Malik. So since today was the last day of uh, orientation events, we are going out with the entire class to celebrate. Hey guys, so I wanted to quickly pop on here for a brief little intro. So this week I want to share with you guys my orientation events. So this past week we uh, kind of had our first introduction to our class. Uh, we had a bunch of fun orientation events. We got our first glimpse at anatomy, got to be in a lecture hall, got to be in the cadaver lab. Um, we also had a bunch of fun social events that we had after all of the other orientation events with members of our class. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, now, if you're new here, my name is Medina. I make videos for pre-dental students so I would love it if you could subscribe down below and like this video and ring the bell so you could be notified when I post. I'm gonna really try hard to be doing weekly vlogs uh, and document basically week-to-week -week activities in dental school and so if you're interested in that if you're also interested in a dental school that's also integrated with a medical school if you're interested in med school um, I'll be sharing all of that along the way so stay tuned. So we started the day at the VEC which is where most of the classes for the dental and medical school take place where our lecture halls and labs are all located uh, and this is the campus where we will have sort of a hybrid model of classes where some of them will be online and some will be in person so here I am heading to the first in-person lecture for anatomy and let's just stop for a second and appreciate the views because this is my favorite part of this building I mean look how gorgeous that is I'm also going to give you guys a glimpse of the anatomy lab. Obviously, I can't show you too much because we are working with uh, donor cadavers and out of the respect for the donors, I can't film in there, but I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like. So today we had our first kind of introductory day of classes. My hair looks a little crazy because I'm walking on a bridge right now. We started with anatomy, which was like real heavy real fast but for orientation week every night we've got some events so currently i'm heading over to yankee stadium it's actually only a 15 minute walk from my house so we're doing that and i'll show you guys a glimpse of the game So this has been a long time coming for me, but the white coat ceremony is a significant milestone for anyone deciding to go into the medical profession, you know, and I've spent a long time trying to get to this point and I guess all the stress and the tears of studying in undergrad were all worth it because when you have a goal in mind and you set it for yourself and you manifest it, this is where you can get. So I hope for all those of you who are watching that are still in the process and your dream is to be one day wearing your white coat, I hope to be, you know, just a little bit of a motivation because despite the hardships, it's so worth it to get here. And I couldn't believe that I was finally here and it was finally happening. Look at all of us in our white coats. So after the white coat ceremony, my boyfriend and I just decided to grab some brunch at a local cafe. Uh, it was a really nice ambiance and the food was really delicious, so we'll definitely be back. And it's always nice to just kind of explore new areas around our neighborhood and see what's new.
So since today was the last day of uh, orientation events, we are going out with the entire class to celebrate. Um, the venue tonight is actually a really cool stationary boat that doubles as a rooftop bar in Norristown. So you can kind of see it in the distance on the shot that I just took. Uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, it's been a really hectic but eventful week. I met a lot of people, a lot of my classmates, and I'm excited to really get started with classes next week. So. So as you guys can see, on a Saturday, Hurricane Henry actually hit and New York had a lot of flooding and some of the highways were just almost completely filled up with water. So the night before, we were actually driving back from Brooklyn, like our GPS had to reroute us because a lot of major highways had two out of the three lanes that were completely flooded and there was no way to drive through and it was actually one of the more severe storms that we had seen in the recent years, obviously aside from Sandy but you can still see the aftermath kind of with the gloomy weather and the remnants of the rain on Sunday. Uh, but I just thought that this was just a really nice drive. You know, the roads had cleared up. There was barely any people, obviously no traffic like there might be usually at this time of day. So I just thought I would leave this really soothing drive here for you guys to enjoy. So now it is Monday. We just started our first set of lectures. For some of our classes like histology and pathology, we actually have a fully online course and we can optionally come in to the back to have the class uh, in person. But the professor is not physically there, so it's up to the individual student how you want to take the course. So I decided to take it from home and I was just having a little bit of breakfast there. Uh, but that was the first two classes of the day with the lecture and the lab for histology where we had to identify uh, cellular structures and anomalies as well. So that's a really interesting course. It is now Monday, so today is the first full official day of classes. So I had some Zoom lectures this morning for a block of molecular mechanisms and histology. And then um, now I am heading to our second gross anatomy lab. As you guys can see, I have an umbrella because we're still dealing with the after effects of Hurricane Henry, which if you guys saw the footage earlier was kind of crazy. Um, I was actually driving and some of the highways started flooding, which was kind of insane. Uh, but now it's kind of falling down and it's mostly just drizzle all day. Also, side note, I actually really love this little park by my neighborhood. It's such a cute little walk. It's nice to just have this kind of area to hang out and relax in if I wanted to, even though I won't have that much time probably. But yeah, this is just a glimpse of my neighborhood. Uh, it's actually not that far to campus. A lot of people live right by the school for me. Um, I live one stop away on the express train and about three stops on the local train. So all in all, about 15, 20 minutes to get there. Uh, I could also walk, but the walk is mostly uphill, which is not fun. So most days I will take the train, especially if the weather is like it is today. So I'm just heading in to grab some coffee and then I will head to class. <laughs> 